Located at the heart of the Newtown Cultural Precinct in Josie, the Market Theatre has been a bastion of progressive performing arts for decades, and the Thrubhangi Dance Theatre has played a similarly pioneering role. The company was founded by the revered dancer Jay Spring Mupin, and she was putting her performers through their paces when Kriya met up with her. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. It's looking amazing. Jay Spree, what are we seeing in terms of the new dance trends coming out in South Africa this year? We always draw on our South Africanness and work in an environment as Indian artists and presenting Indian dance. It's not enough to present it as a standalone art form in a multicultural society. For it to survive, you have to make it accessible. The dance genres that we have within the country is so beautiful, it's so rich that we feel that it's not enough to just keep, just to have one art form or one dance form. It's, it's, it's wonderful to take the influences of other art forms and dance forms and music and costumes, of course, and incorporate them with a lot of respect and understanding of the other forms. And it just kind of creates a melting pot of different cultures. Well, you know what? I'm looking forward to actually learning a few dance moves. So, shall we get going? Yeah, sure, why not? Hi guys, how's it going? Hi. Good. Sure. Very good, thanks. You going to teach me something today? Yes. Let's go. We're just walking on spot, all of us. Okay. So we're here. Okay. Yes? Yes. Now, using your hands, try to reach for your heels. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now we're just going to stretch. How we stretch is, you tap your right foot in front and close, and then left to the side. Okay. Forward. Right. And now bring your right leg up, just to close it. So you just lift and stop. Okay. And then, now we're gonna walk. We're putting the whole two moves together. Okay. There we go. <laughs> See, I'm not that bad, right? Not at all. I'm gonna leave you guys to this. Okay. <laughs> The drums picked up the pace, and the dancers could show off their footwork to full effect. This impromptu performance was merely a warm-up before the actual show, which would see the dancers take to an outdoor stage at the Newtown Junction. Korea was keen to find out from marketing manager Isabel Tafu Mane about what made Tribangi unique in the South African context. Why did you decide to go with the Tribangi Dance Academy? Tribangi fuses diverse cultures, everything they make. So what we did is we brought them in because they speak to what this mall is all about. Tribangi dancers have mastered African, Indian, contemporary and Afrofusion styles, but classical Bharatanatyam also has a place of honour in the repertoire. While the company always treats the cultural roots of his dance works and dances with respect, there's also a drive to explore and innovate, which has been a driving force in Jaysbury's creative directorship of the company for almost three decades. Jaysbury, a phenomenal performance from your artist today. After watching a performance like this, what do you want the audience to take home? Well, if we can make art and dance accessible to people at whichever way, you know, in urban areas, public spaces, open air spaces it's wonderful because they wouldn't be able to go and buy a ticket to go to a conventional theater yeah. so that's what we want a sense of achievement and a sense of fulfillment over the years Trubangi has appeared at international and african events and venues to great acclaim but the company's commitment to using dance to facilitate cross-cultural dialogue is no less relevant right here in south africa and the applause is well deserved